Who cares? Whatever. Google. <laughs> Caleb said to Google, Google it. No. You have <laughs> shit to do. This this can be learned on the fly. Yeah. For now, fuck it. You should Google it. I should Google it. And learn by himself. You should do forward rolls, break calls, and standing rolls. You don't tell me what to do. <laughs> the knife's in the bag. Is it recording? Not ever train with your partner. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, forward roll, break call, standing days. Do it like people are watching. You got this. Oh, it's tough. Let me adjust that camera. Hashtag do better. How dare you? Oh, black button, one button. Yep. Yeah. Hey, you were doing good at that. Shut up. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's no way. Why don't you do it too? Because <laughs> <laughs> I have to punch you yeah. at it to make sure you don't suck. Trust me, I've never kicked the stage in my life. I know. You mean, do you like this? You also, I don't, okay, be here, here, here. This is why I watch. Because she just did something wrong. What did I do? Oh, exactly. Let's keep going. <laughs> so, all right, come back to me. Ah. One more lap. Stand up. Good lord. <laughs> Stand up, we're on the clock here. Yes. Right. So, when I do this thing, one thing that I want to make sure is extremely clear is that you never disconnect from the ground. Okay? Your feet never lift up from the ground and do something. So, the sound of sexy jujitsu should be like, not this. <laughs> You're not doing it right, right? So if I'm here, all I'm doing is I'm turning my heels. See how my foot goes outside my hip line by default. Okay, so I'm never gonna step. You see, I turn the heel and I rotate the body like a barrel. Okay, and I come back and I rotate the heels. The body like a barrel. Now, when I need to move, when I'm doing this, as I come back, the foot that I touch, I slide that heel up and out. Up and out. Up and out. I never, ever, ever do that. Oh, okay? man. Never take a step. So here's why. Lay down, head towards the wall. So this is a valuable thing to learn. So this is why I don't do it with you. I'm already warm. I'm fine. I have to watch you guys. Okay? So it's slow motion, start to do it. Pause. Your foot isn't far enough outside of your hip. So step that foot up further. Ah, ball is here. Turn your heel. Keep your knee. Push off that foot into the. Yes, do you feel that? Yeah. Okay. So go back to your tree again. Perfect. Now, what I want you to do, I want you to start to turn your heels. So turn your heel. No, go back. I want you to physically turn your heel. So again, turn your heels. Now build your frame, reach for the toes. Pause here. Keep your heel turning and outside of your hip line. Do you feel that? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's why we do it. Do it one more time. I feel like I'm bending my knee. Yeah, it's supposed to be bent. Oh, Don't let okay. it drop. Okay. Good. No. This is why I don't do it. <laughs> All right, hop up and watch me. Oh, we'll get it through the class in two seconds. So again, from here, this is not a thing. Okay. Right now, if I do this, put a hand on my hip bone. I'm fairly keep a hand on my hip bone, please. Instructor, all is here. If I take my foot and I move it here, push, you feel that. Yeah. Okay. 
Now, if I take my foot and I move it here, push. What do you want from me? I want you to just, you're just going to be an assistant instructor who's not mad at me. You're not my partner. You're an assistant instructor. Pause here. My heel needs to be pointed outwards, and this heel needs to be pointed upwards. Now, when you start to push, push. You don't mind your tippy toes and mean everything. Mean it. Do it. Now, pause and come back down. From here, if I rotate my heels, mm -hmm. I want you to do the same thing. There's no structure there. Okay. okay? So what I'm doing is I'm connecting to the ground, driving through the ground, and into you through my hip. So it's very important that we don't disconnect from the ground when we do this. So if I was under duress and I needed to move right now, put a hand on my hip bone again, pause here. The moment I lift my foot, yeah. I've gone back 10 steps. The whole point of this exercise, pause, get on your tippy toes, put two hands on my hip bone. From here, if I need to move, is this gonna help me? No. Is this gonna start to help me? The moment I do it again, did that help me? Yeah. No. Okay. Yeah. No. <laughs> your job is to stay connected to the ground and become a part of the ground with a structure. And if the structure is wrong, it doesn't work. So imagine you're building a house and you put down a foundation and possibly a toilet. That's a great house, right? You need to start to build on this, all right? So this is super important that you have a solid ground to build on. Okay, build a frame. Okay. Okay. So drive your left heel out just a little bit more. That's okay. Now from here, the reason we're doing this, by the way, I want you to pull this heel to the ceiling and drive those toes down. You're adding weight from that foot into this knee, okay? Right now, it should be hard for me to pick that up. <laughs> it should be hard for me to pick, yes. That should be hard to pick up. Good. It should be hard to scoop underneath, okay? Now, turn your heel to the ground. This one? Yeah. Good. Turn your heel to the ground. You're using your connection to the ground to drive weight into another part of your body and making it harder for me to do the things that I wanted to do. This, in context, would be me shooting a hook in. Okay, so let's start from the neutral mount. Come over here, please. Lay down into that way. If I'm here, I want you to start to do an elbow stick. There you go. Come back. I want you to start to do an elbow stick. It's a bit of a pain in the ass, right? Step your foot outside of my hip, turn your heel. Turn your knee to the ground and lift your heel to the ceiling. And now there's no space. You feel that. I can't dig underneath. Yeah. Drive your elbow and your knee to get, yes. You're taking out the slack from connecting to the floor and adding weight to a specific part of the body, okay? Anal retentive. That's the hip escape I want you guys to get good at. Okay? Anybody can push off their toes and pivot on their shoulder. Okay? I want this. I'll yell at you forever. Let's do that one more time. Start on your back. Okay, so you're just going to turn your heels. Good. And I want you to start to build that frame and reach for your toes. Good. Come back. Do it again. Good. Much better. Okay, I'm happy with that. So I just wanted to explain that. It's, yeah, it's funny. Like, why are you doing it? Because like, fucking, I need to watch you. That's why I'm not doing it. All right. Also, I'm lazy. Let's turn this, and we're going to do. What are we doing with that? Oh, I get the thrower. <laughs> All right. So we're going to be going over what's called the rear takedown. <laughs> You're fine. We're going to be going over the rear takedown today. So, first off, we'll talk about how we end up getting there. Okay, so I want you to stand on this side, please. Perfect. There's a million reasons and ways that I can end up behind somebody, right? When I end up behind somebody, the easiest possible thing to do is take away their base, okay? Because right now, mm, pause. No. There's no real base. But her feet can move and do things. Yes, and she can find base by default. But if I was to pick her up, where's your base? It's 
It's gone. Okay, so uh, she knows things. So my job, once I slip to the back, I'm going to hoist and slam. But we don't have to hoist and slam. I need you to understand that you can, okay? You're not picking somebody up with your arms. What we're going to go over is a controlled lift by using your hips, okay? But for now, let's talk about how we get to the back, all right? Distance is vanished. My job is to not get knocked out. And I come into the clinch. Now, if I came into the clinch a little bit low, she can wrap up a guillotine. Perfect. Okay. If I came in a little bit low, it's a lot easier to get on the ball. She did. Stop her from yelling it. No, that happens every time. I could have like a black belt with me helping me and start like, hey, wrap up a guillotine. <laughs> Fuck, I can't do it every time. All right, it's default. That's why she gets good at getting out of headlocks. Because nine times out of ten, the person gets freaked out. Fucking headlock! Ha! It's the easiest thing in the world to get out of. There are world champions that can't. That's, I'm not lying. That's not an over exaggeration. World champions. Right on. I get into a clinch. From here, pause. It's not a headlock today. I'm a little bit low. She wraps up a guillotine. Yes. All right. So the guillotine's on. In previous lessons, we talked about how to get out of a guillotine. But the very first thing you should learn don't get in it. Okay. So if somebody does a submission, the first escape is to not be in the submission. Like, what do you do? So I punch you in the face. Move your face. All right. From here, if she starts to wrap up that guillotine, I should not be there. Okay? My nose should not be before my toes. So when we're practicing this back day specifically, your partner's not going to wrap the guillotine. Okay? Just here's why. Pause here, wrap up the guillotine. Pause. Let go. If I was to put my hips underneath, ah. yes. Yes. It's a kimura. So this is a kimura. Okay? Very kind. It sounded like that. It sounded like ow. This is Kimura. This is Americana. Okay. If she wraps up, pause, no hand, and my hips come in, if it's attached to my body, I can end up hurting my partner. Okay. So our partner is just going to start to wrap the guillotine just for safety. Because I need you guys to understand that you don't have to do the guillotine escape. You can just get your hips up underneath something. Okay. So right now, if you put a hand in the back of your neck and you pull my head down, Shit! Now, Matt, you pull my head down. Pull my head down. I just keep my hips up underneath me, okay? Super easy structural integrity thing to remember for the rest of your life. Because if you're doing this at the start of a fight, you had it coming, okay? Much better, all right? So, same thing occurs. If I was to come in the distance to manage damage and I move my way into the clinch, I'm not perfect. Maybe I'm getting too low. Pause here, put your arm over my back, pause. From here, for safety purpose, she's not wrapping it here. She just puts it over my back. What I want to do is I want to take a big step with my hips, and I want to look at the ceiling, okay? Now from here, I keep my head close as I come around, okay? One more time. Again, with your partner, don't worry about the distance management tools right now. We're just going to start by hugging our partner at the waist, pause, stand up straight. From here, my partner's going to put their arm over the top. Good. Now, what I'm going to do is this. See how my ear and shoulder are close? I'm going to open my arms and look at the ceiling with my hips. Okay? And then you're doing like a sun salute kind of thing. Okay? Right? So maybe they wrapped everything that was perfect. Salute the sun. Ah, okay. So from here, she wraps, I salute the sun. Okay? My job is that my hips come up underneath them. We're going to talk about that hip connection in a second. But this should be a reflex. And this reflex is going to build over time. What if they wrap your waist? What if you're on your knees? It's the exact same movements. Okay? So right now, I cover the distance. I manage it down. She wraps, falls. From here, I'm going to open my arms and scoop my hips. Now from here, turn on me, please. From here, I cut out the distance. I'm going to the back. If I was to just do this, Pause, don't move, boom, okay? Just by accident, boom, I'm gonna get elbow in the face, okay? Elbow my face again. That's all you need, okay? You need to manage the distance. So if I'm disconnected from this person, that space can be filled with strikes by accident, okay? So every time we slip and take the back, we're gonna do a little bit of a test control and see if our partner can turn around to us or elbows. So just quickly, pause. I'm here. She wraps, hips, 
And the moment I get to here, I'm going to bury my head. When I get here, I'm not doing this. Turn with me, please. I'm not keeping my head on the round of my forehead. What I'm doing is I'm kind of listening to her dreams, but from behind the scapula, all right? So from here, I hug on however I want. And don't have to get too technical with this. The only thing I care about is that you never grab with a C clap, okay? If you use the letter C, she pulls away, you're gonna lose that grip, all right? We can use S grip, navel grip, funky chicken, I don't care, man. Just don't do C clamp. Again. I was trying to make sure the oh. <laughs> Alright, there's a... Uh, yeah, it's a funny thing. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of shit. They're not useful. Just like that is not useful. Turn around, please. If I'm hugging the waist right here, elbow my face. Ah, every time. Again, you're not sorry. Every time you're going to get hit. Bury yourself, elbow my face. It means nothing to me. Both elbows. Mean it. Good. Now turn around towards me. Uh, keep going. Mean it, mean it, mean it. Yes. Time. What I want is a good control over that hip line. Okay? So when we get to the back, I need you to make sure you're not getting your face elbowed in. And I need you to make sure they don't get to turn towards you again. So pause where you are. Turn towards me. Yeah, it's different, isn't it? Yeah. Turn towards me. Oh, yes. I'm on the hip line. Okay, so an S grip on the hip, table grip on the hip, it doesn't matter. Take out the slack with your shoulder and your hand. Okay, so you're pulling the hip bone and rolling the shoulder. Done. From here, quick. Elbow my face, turn towards me. Okay, now turn with me, please. There is a very common mistake that I see here where people do this and they drop a level. I want you, yes, continue doing that. Yes. I never want to be bearing weight, okay? So when you get to the back, don't drop a level to do anything cool, okay? You drop with your hips, not with your nose before your toes. Turn pause. From here, if my head goes below those crosshairs, lean back, I'm bearing weight, okay? So I keep my head with the crosshairs. But if I'm like this, walk away. Uh, I'm gonna keep my nose before my toes. Solid, okay, walk away, solid. No sitting before toes, okay? Wrapped up and I'm finding my base, my shoulder is rolling and I'm holding onto the hip bone itself, okay? So let's start with our partner. And our partner is going to be ready for us to cover and clinch, and they're gonna wrap up the guillotine over the arm. Slow, hips, control. See if your partner can turn towards you. Good. See your partner can lean back and push your hips forward. Good. Now that we have the final part of this to practice, use your hips to scoop and give them a little lift. Okay? That's the most important thing you're going to want to make sure you part of your advanced warm ups is this movement. Okay? So you are never lifting with your arms in your back. You connect them to you. Drop a level and use your hips like a shovel to lift, okay? Tonight, uh, I should have a couple guys here. What we usually do, get them to stand back to back, wrap the arms around them, and pick them up, okay? I guarantee you can do that. Yeah, you can do it. You've done it before. Hold me, hold me. Hips, just your hips, use your hips. Yes, good, that's more than enough. You'll notice my feet are all on the ground. Here's my base, I've got good base. Shit, no base, okay? That's what we're shooting for. So from here, you're gonna do this to make, so slow motion. I want you to come in for the clinch, but come in a little bit low. Lower. Lower. Pause. If my arm wraps, I want you to push your hips towards me, hands, yes! Come around to the back. Perfect. Hold your hands together on my hip bone. Roll the shoulder into me to take out the slack. Do you feel that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's an actual thing. How do you feel? You feel pretty good, though. Oh, yeah, it's great. Good. Let's do it. Good. Again, this time I want you to cover your face, 
touch your forearms to my chest and go to your clinch. Good. Don't pick me up until I stop moving. Good. Yes. One more time. Good. Yes. Very good. Okay. So starting with your partner, cover the distance, manage the damage, get into the clinch. When you get to the clinch, you notice that you're a bit low. Maybe your nose is a little bit too far before your toes. Fix it. Go around to the back. Take out the slack. Hold on to the hip line. Keep your head snug to the back. Don't put your forehead there. It rolls and it moves. Listen to them, okay? Keep it nice and snug. You're not going to get hit. They might just kind of push you with their triceps. You're not going to die, okay? You keep that head away. Boom. Get elbow in the eye socket. It cracks. It's not fun. Your job is to cover the distance to manage damage. So why would you go to the back and get damaged, all right? Now, rear takedown. Two variations. Number one, they're standing up. Number two, they lean forward. You never just go for one. Okay? There's never going to be a takedown where you go without doing it. They give you a takedown. Okay? You need to understand that. Number one, turn around for me. Starting with your partner here, if she's standing up straight, it's very easy for me to pick her up by using my hips like a shovel. I want you to put your hands on the ground. I do not get to pick this person up without paying a price with my lower back. Okay? And yes, if you do schoolboy rolls, Imanaris, you can do all kinds of cool things. Or you can just lift them up and slam them on their head. Mm. Now, depending on circumstances, you can totally lift somebody and slam them on their head. What I want you to do is gently put them down and add weight to them. Okay? So what we're doing is this. It's just a dance move. I'm here and you're fine. You don't even have to break. You're good to go. You're good to go. Okay? You can be super gentle with your partner because you're not lifting their feet so high off the ground that you're going to turn their head on the ground. You just get their feet just enough off the ground to take them out from underneath themselves. Okay? So if you look at me, I'm here. It's like I'm holding a big log, right? Straight line. I'm going to use my hips and go. <clears throat> now from here, I just tilt my elbows. Now that log is going like this. It's no longer going to go poof. It's going to go poof. Oof. Okay. What I need to do is get out of my own way. You're going to hear me say that a lot in the fundamentals. <laughs> fundamentals. Get out of your own way. Trust me, you're in your way. When I lift from here, when I put them down, shit, there's a leg. Just take a step back. Put them in that gap. Okay. I'll, do that. I'll, do that. I'll, do that. Uh, I'll talk about that at the end. He's still keeping this. Yeah, I'm going to add weight with my shoulder. Actually, I never disconnect. So here's a heavy lesson to learn. Turn around, please. Now what? Shit. I, I did all the hard work was the first part. That's what a lot of people just don't understand. The hard work was this. <laughs> Jiu Jitsu. And not getting knocked out. That's it. So from here, they touch my face. The hard work is done. Okay? I got popped you in the nose, you okay? Short shot! You like? Yeah, short shot. All right, so my job is no. Shh. No. Okay? It's not. I hate when you do that. I like you. Where are you going? Engage! Engage in the fight! The ref, she's going to stop us and put it back in the middle. Fine. My job is to not get knocked out. My job is to pull her on camera and not get knocked out. When she does a guillotine, I slip to the back and I don't get knocked out. Now from here, I lift her up, get out of my way, and I don't get knocked out. Now turn back towards me. It's hard to do, right? Turn back towards me. Stand up. Ah, shit. So what I need to do is add weight in the right spot, okay? Before we get into that, I want her to cover the distance, slip the guillotine, manage the damage, 
hoist, slam. Okay? All you need to do is pick me up. So look at me one more time. You're just doing this. Hips, tilt your elbows. Whatever direction you tilt your elbows, step back. That's it. And you can just let me go. Okay? Okay? Clinch. Yes. Yes. Good. Pause. Yeah, you feel good? Go. Yep. Very good. That was good. Now we're going managing the distance to manage the damage again. Because this shit gets in the way. Come back. This shit gets in the way. Yeah. It's in the way. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> okay, so when we do the take down, watch me without her. When I lift and I hoist from here, I'm coming down with it. Imagine this hand is going to post and I'm scrolling my weight into my shoulder. Okay? Now, when my weight goes in the shoulder, it goes into them. I don't want them to be able to turn back towards me. So I'm going to drive my weight up the shoulder. Let's do that one time. Turn around, please. Pause here, slow motion, boom, pause. My hands, my weight's my shoulder, but if I do nothing with it, turn towards me. Ah, I need to add weight to her shoulder, turn towards me. Good. That's going to end up being the back take later. But for now, we're just doing a good take on the take down. You're going to do that to me. You got this. Okay? One time without you. It's this, boom. Boom. From here, push your hands. Add weight to your shoulder. And it can be a very slow technical takedown, or you can hoist them, turn their heads into concrete, and hope for the best. Good. Good. Okay, take your time. Good. Good. Get up on your tippy toes, add weight to the shoulder. Good. Now, keep adding weight to my shoulder and walk towards my head. Walk your feet towards my head. Up. Yes. Good. You feel that? Yeah. Now you need to worry about this. Turning. Yeah. Okay. Pull your elbow to my hip bone. Ah. Ah. Push. Pull. Elbow. Pause. Hip bone. Pull the hip bone. Yes. 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 Tap. Ah. Woo. One more time, and we're going to talk about the rear sit down. Okay? Yes. 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 Good. Pause. From here, test your partner. See if you can turn towards them. Good. She should be driving her weight from her feet to her shoulder. Now, when your partner tries to roll away, let go of the ground, make a fist. Pull your elbow to my hip bone itself. You feel that? Pull, pull. Yes, reposition your body so that you can do things. Yes, good. Push, yes. Um, pull. Why did you connect with the down? What do you mean? Oh, because you can switch. Because when I was connecting, I felt like there are more, you know. Yeah. But you can. You do whatever you want. Maybe if I'm really strong, you end up getting crushed. Oh, okay. Make a fist. Hold that in. Maybe if you were this, yes. Maybe you could just grab my arm instead now. Oh, that's why. There's a whole bunch of what ifs. Okay. So okay. now, I want you to just make a fist and pull your elbow to you. Okay, pause the down on your side. It's a good question. What she was asking is, why don't you just leave your fucking hand on the ground, dude? Because when I'm here, I want this hand for her to do things. Go to your knees. You feel that? Yeah. Okay, go to your knees. Go to your knees, go to your knees. Ah. I can't move my elbow because it's on the ground. Mm -hmm. Come back. Three knees. My elbow can follow you wherever it goes. Make sense? Yeah. Now, you know, maybe I'll just go like that. Maybe I'll go like that. Okay. okay. Yeah. So make a fist and your elbow can follow wherever it wants as opposed to that. Is that, is that a good answer? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Come on, you got this. Now we're going to do the easy one. Now, is the heater on again? Yeah, it's like 70 in here all the time. Oh, oh God. Okay. So, the one that most people teach has a very easy kind of rebuttal to it, right? 
So if I take the back one to turn around, please. If I'm here, don't ever fall. Never when I said don't ever fall. We did good. Come back. Stay standing and take a step off of my foot. If I do this, step off my foot. Yes. Ah, okay. And the idea of yanking the person down to try and make it happen, all I'm doing is giving up my base. Okay? So the reason we do the rear takedown or the valley drop is because we can't lift them. If their nose is before their toes, it's too heavy to pick up. If their head is by their hips, it's gonna be easy, okay? So, come back, stand up straight. Easy. Reach for the ground. Hard to do, okay? She's added weight. So my job is this now. I'm gonna touch the foot. When I touch the foot, I'm tucking my elbow. There's two schools of thought on this one. Some people will reach for the ground. I like to tuck my elbow, okay? From here, my foot touches the foot. I tuck my left elbow. I'm pulling their hip to me with this hand, elbow hand. Click, you feel that? Yeah. Stay solid, don't ever let me do things. Click, you feel that? Yeah. Now your hand can touch the ground, okay? So as you're falling, Post the hand, drive the weight. Come back, please. Pause. Bend forward, pause. I'm pulling with my left elbow. I'm going to sit and rotate my hips. From here, I touch the ground and I add weight to the shoulder, just like we were doing before. Okay? So, one time without her. I'm here, I had the hoist, but they reach the ground. All I'm gonna do is this. I'm rotating. My elbow's going to my hip. My foot's finding their foot, just like a little doorstop, and I'm adding weight. As I rotate down, I can post, spread it, okay? Now, the longer you keep your elbow in, the safer that drop, okay? If you land like this, that's fine. You see how I can get pulled up by default? If I was to land like this and reach for the ground, that's not a very control, controlled structure, okay? So I want you to concentrate more about pulling your elbow to the ground. I don't care if you hit to the, the ground. Hit the ground, then put your hand out, okay? Never reach with your hand to stop things from happening. That one's gonna come with a bit of time, so we're gonna go super slow with this one last time. Super slow. Let's go right here, please. Watch this elbow. Keep your elbow tucked, nice and controlled. When you feel like a ninja, post your hand, okay? But it comes at a price for some people. I wouldn't recommend it. Okay, you want to give it a go? I can walk you through. Stand up, please. I'm like, oh. You're okay. Pretend you're hungry. Pretend you're hugging oh, me. Yeah. Hug, good. Remember you can hoist and slap, so do that. Yes, good. Pretend I'm leaning forward. Take a step to the side. Turn your hips, follow me. Pause, take a step to the side. Good, so I'm on this end. Yeah. Pull your elbow to you. Start to sit your butt down. And now come up to your knees. Good, let's do that again. So look at me. I'm not like this. I'm like this, okay? So imagine the log is in a straight line. I'm gonna walk around to the side of the log. Okay, let's do that. Hold the log straight line, walk around to the side of the log. Perfect. Straighten that leg, hold the elbow to your hip bone, and start to sit. Yes! Let's do that again. Standing here on the camera. Pay attention to where you are with the camera. All right. And pull your elbow to your hip bone, not to the ground. Try it again. That is important. I'm well aware. Yeah, I hurt myself a few times. Elbow to the hip bone. <laughs> okay, look at the pause. Go away. Okay. What's happening when you do it? You're doing this. Yeah. Where's your base? 
Think about your base. Are you on base? Are you on base? So don't let your knee bump. Oh, okay. okay. So what was happening is this when she went for it, she'd take a step and then her knees kind of collapsed in on themselves. Point your knees out all the time. Straighten that one leg. This knee's still pointing out. And I'm taking my time sitting. Okay? Try that. And go super slow. Don't guide your knees. It's okay. Your black one's in the middle. Yes. Okay. Hold your hands. Take a step. Pause. Find your base. Good. Start to straighten that leg. Pull your elbow to your hips. Just sit your butt down. Yes. Much better. Try again. You don't need me. Trust me. I can just stand here and judge. Yes. 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 That's good. Okay. Now watch me one last time. When I do this, as I fall from here, I'm going to put my hand on the ground and my hand on the ground. Okay, like you're doing a push up. Do that. It's so boring. Sorry, then. <laughs> it's not boring, trust me. Good, keep going. Start to sit. Yes. Now put your right hand on the ground. Now get up on your knees and put your left hand on the ground. Good, you did the take. Okay? Now we're gonna do that with me. Okay. Grab your waist. Take that step. Pause here. I want your left foot to touch my foot. Good. Do the move. Yes, 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 yes. Now put your right hand on the ground, put your left hand on the ground. Oh. Add weight with the shoulder and walk your legs away from you. Yes, you did it. Again. You are a good sister. Me. Yes, 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 yes. Add weight to the shoulder. Walk your feet up. Good. Again. Are you away from you? Yeah, away from my legs. Get your legs away from my legs, Paul. Again. Go time. So eventually, boom, they go to the ground. Okay? Over time, you can get faster and leaner. But what I want from you is a reflex. Stand up for me. So we're going to get into the ground. So two seconds. Turn around. Your reflex should be this. Stand up straight. Bend forward. Stand up straight. Bend forward. We need to feel that, okay? We need to feel. They're doing this, you're doing this. They're doing this, you're doing this. It's just your hips connection as you're taking out all the slack with your arms, okay? Think of it this way, your limbs aren't doing shit. All they're doing is taking out slack for your torso to do things. <sighs> Have you got any questions? Yeah, that's very really good. Okay, thank you. Really good. Okay, we're gonna go over the elevator sweep. What the sweep? It's got a million stupid names, right? It's a sweep. It's the first concept of sweeping someone. When I say sweep, what I mean is we're in the closed guard. We start the fight. We <laughs> we engage in the. We put up with the fight. Eh, I don't know the right terminology for this. I started a fight. I get to the clinch. I do the takedown. I get to the mount. I suck. I end up underneath. I've got my guard. The guard is what's going to help me stay alive long enough to get back on top or submit them. Okay? So, worst case scenario, I'd like you to hold my guard and move your camera and see how we are. Uh, maybe I'll lower. Okay, yeah. lower it down, please. Thank you. Okay, so worst case scenario, we're in the book. Let's be too long. Boom. Inverted mount. My job is to cover the distance to manage the damage as always. Now, I've talked about this a million times in a million different ways, so much so that it gets annoying. If someone overcommits something when I have base, that's what gives me a thing. Not I'm gonna go sleep! Doesn't happen. It's not a thing. Step your left leg up. Put your weight in the shoulder. 
That's a sweep. Okay? You take the overcommitment and go with it. You don't force things to happen. You feel them happen. Okay? So to be at the back after this, your body's going to start in closed guard. And you're going to have them in stage one of punch block. Okay? So that means their posture is down. All right? From here, not all the time. Not everyone wants to sit up. Not everyone wants to get away. Not everyone's going to punch you. What if she was to drive all of her weight into that shoulder and everything on top? Yes. Now, there's a couple ways this could happen. Go ahead and put your weight back down. Perfect. Your partner could step up with two legs. Yes. They could step up with two legs. They're not doing that for this. Okay. That would be a different move. For now, step up with your left leg. Perfect. And I want you to drive all your weight from your left leg into your right shoulder, pinning me down and meaning it forever. Does that feel good? Tom, hop up. I'm going to do it how I want you to do it. Okay? That's okay. Great. So for this, what's important when we're learning jujitsu is to have what's called a good back. Okay? If I was to do this, she doesn't get to do the move. Okay? If I was to do this, it's not the same move. What I want, and I'm not complaining about you. You don't, how are you supposed to know what I want you to do in a fight? Cross your legs. Pause. So this is for the bad guy. So you can practice these things by having a good bad guy to work with. So that means two people have to learn, learn two things. God forbid. You're going to have to learn how to suck and how to take advantage of that. Then eventually when you're fighting, you're going to know better than to suck. Okay? So have a look at me. Hold me a punch block. You're okay. From here, this isn't really doing anything, is it? Yeah. Okay? What if I do this? Oh, I took everything from that foot into my shoulder. Okay. Not this. <laughs> this. I mean it. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Step that left leg up. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right, now, no need for that just now. Okay. It's still a good thing, pause here. Yeah. Safety tip, hold your partner's shoulder so you don't hurt yourself. My other shoulder, perfect. From here, I'm gonna overhook the arm with my palm flat between me and her. Now I'm gonna shift the hip. Relax, put okay. your knee on the ground, point this knee to the ceiling, do nothing else, you're fine. From here, I'm gonna shift my hip. My hook comes in, okay? Now from here, I can come up underneath, but if they're not doing anything, I don't have to, okay? I'm going to scissor the legs. Come up on top of it, okay? So one more time, off my leg. Perfect. Your partner's going to start by stepping their left leg up and putting all their weight into their right shoulder. From here, step one. Take your hand, make it an overhook. Now, this arm is essentially pulling the elbow in, her elbow. So I'm gonna put my hand flat for comfort between us, okay? The elbow is snug. Safety tip for your partner, don't put your hand out. Your fingers are gonna break. Just hold on to the shoulder, palm up. Now from here, for me to get my hook in, it's gonna be hard for me to do. So I need to change the angle. And we'll talk about that in a second. When I change that angle, that affords me the ability to put this hook in. My knee stays wide. My leg goes low. My partner continues to lean into that shoulder for me. And from here, I scissor the legs. Now, I end up coming up on top easily. Okay? Now, for the sake of argument, let me show you how I shift the hips. I would like you to hop on my guard, please. And I want you to sit up straight. Sit up straight. Step this leg up. Perfect. Push your hips forward. Perfect. Hold your arms out like a scarecrow and never move. This, you're fine. From here, it's hard for me to get that hook in. So imagine she's transparent right now. She should be here leaning on me. I gotta get that foot in so that I can change the angle. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start to straighten my legs. I need to really push hard. Straighten my legs to lift my hips, okay? Now from here, I can shift my hips easily. My foot becomes a hook. Okay, again, push your hips forward, hold your arms out of the knees, stay sturdy as you can, you're doing great. Right. From here, I can't get that leg in, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to straighten out my legs to lift my hips. Perfect. 
From here, I can turn my hips. This leg is gonna slide and it's gonna hook. A common mistake is people hook down here. What I want you to do is I want you to get the hook by the knee. So your knee's gonna flare and the foot's gonna end up being a sticky hook. Now this leg can drop low, okay? So come on down and hug me. Cut my shoulder. There's our sweep, okay? So you're gonna do this to me. So for your partner, you're gonna be in punch block stage one. That means hugged in nice and tight. I want you all to step up with your left leg and drive into your right shoulder for this one sweep, okay? So again, from here, cross your ankles. I step up. I've given you something. I've given too much to this side. You feel that? Yeah. Open your legs and straighten out your legs until your hips come off the ground. Yes. Now you can know. Yes. Yes. Perfect. Good. Let's go back. Good. I just want to check and see if you can do that. You good? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I step up. The very first thing I want you to do, I want you to track this on. So I want you to put your hand between you and me nice and flat and tuck your elbow to you. Now I can't post that hand when I start to fall. Right. Yes. Safety tip. I'm going to hug the shoulder. I'm not going to put my hands out and get them crushed. I hug the shoulder, palm up. Now from here, you're safe. This is locked in, right? Okay. I want you to open your legs, straighten your legs so your hips come off the ground. Shift your hip, put in the hook. Perfect. Now, there's no reason you get into the sweep now. Yeah. But let's worry about this. I want you, every time I swing, yeah. I want you to put this arm under my arm. Under my arm. Yes, like you're going to lift me. Okay. Get that left leg down to the ground. Yes, yes, yes. Good. Let's go again. That's very good. So the perfect time for this, by the way, is not just the way you want to do it. My weight's over here. The moment I swing, my weight's even more over here, okay? And what I want you to do now, I want you to get this leg low to the ground. So don't let it hook around the leg. This one's going to lift it. This one's going to chop, okay? Yes, scissors. Let's try one more time. Okay, perfect. No need for the overhook just yet. I'm not doing anything. Okay. Perfect. Yes. Pinch your elbows in. Yeah, it's a pain in my ass. I see the front I'm going to do this. Okay? That perfect. Shift the hips. Get that hook in. Good. Now, from here, I'm already going. You can feel that hand. Yeah. Now, perfect timing. When I swing, I want you to reach for the ceiling as you scissor the legs. Yes. All right, last time. Let's do it on this end. <laughs> now, I'm gonna give a tiny bit of detail with this. I'm a little bit uh, into this sweep. I'd like you to hop up one more time. Step one leg up. <laughs> Just step one leg up. Perfect. Lock it in. Okay, from here. This is hard to do. Okay? It's easy. Okay? So that's, that's a tiny adjustment. The tiniest adjustments change things. Okay? So step up one more time. If I'm here, and I have a hook that can lift, a hook that can chop, where are my hip bones pointing? Remember when we were in a fight, we were fighting. Right now, I don't want to lift weight. I want to add weight. I want my hip bones bolts. I want my hip bones pointed at the ground. Okay? So the more I can change that, the better. You have to burn with the muscles. No! <laughs> The more you just feel that. <laughs> the more you turn your hip bones towards the mat, the more you're adding weight rather than lifting weight. Okay? Also, to be a good bad guy for this, overcommit for your partner. All right? It's super important that you understand that when you're first starting out, that you're playing jujitsu. So you need to have a partner that plays the game with you. Okay? If I start to push this way and they start to take it that way, I start to pull this way. It's another move. Okay, so if the weight's coming back, I do something else. Speaking of something else, what happens if they put me in a headlock, right? So let's do the headlock variation. I'd like you to hop in my guard one more time. Are we on the camera? We're good? Yeah. Okay, Paul's here. Everything's fine here. If she steps up, I trap the post. 
I take it back, my perfect come back a step. If I was in a headlock instead, yes. From here, she steps up, puts all of her weight in. Yes, from here, I can't trap that post anymore, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my hand behind my head. When I put my hand behind my head, I'm gonna shift my hips, I need you to be solid, good. And I hook. Now when I do this, I can't do the same motion. I've actually built a very different frame, I'll show you. What I need to do is extend everything, okay? Pop up for me. Scoop back. Remember, the very first sweep, we're in a straight line. Your job is this overhook, flat hand, straighten the legs to lift the hips and shift the hips. Now my angle comes in. Now look at this. Everything is kind of snug. It's just that motion of me coming on top. Okay? So if I'm here, the arm is trapped, the legs are hooked, and now I take my time and I turn my hip bones towards the ground. Now I can add weight and come up for a submission or control. If I'm in a headlock and all the weight's coming over here, when I do this, when I shift that angle, you can see on the camera, I look like a letter C. It's very hard to roll a letter C, okay? So imagine when you get here, the, the, the super hidden detail of this, structure not strength. Letter I moves a whole lot better, okay? Get out of your own way. So one more time, close guard, and start with your partner holding you in a headlock. Good. From here, they're gonna step that foot up and drive all the way to this noise. Yes. Hold the back of your head. Shift your hip, insert the hook. And now from here, rather than trying to just kick the legs, I want you to pull your elbow out from underneath you and let them do the work, okay? You wanna try it? You look at this. You literally stroke your ear. Yeah. Ah, come on. Thanks. Let's do that. Yeah. Let's do that. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's, it's gonna be funny. Oh, wait. No, I was gonna say I'm starting to connect the things that you need. Ah, science. Just a year. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, um, let's pretend I'm not there. I want to see the elevator sweep. Yeah. Good. Like Overhook. One. Hand flat. Perfect. Shift the hips. So you shift your butt to me. Let's pretend someone's there. Get that hook in. Perfect. Lower that left leg. 100%. Start to reach for the ceiling with your right hand. And scissor. 100%. See how easy that is? Yeah. Cool. Now take your left hand, pull the back of your head like this. Shift your hips. Insert the hook. Pause. You feel how you are on your angle? On your side? Yeah. Yes. Perfect. You're like a letter C. Yeah. It's hard to move. So what I want from you is this. Pull your elbow out from underneath. How easy is that? Yeah. That's what you're going to do with me. Okay? Now, again, as usual, be a good bad guy and give them the weight. I'm going to show you what happens when you don't give them the weight. In just a second. Pause here. Headlock. All my weight is here. You feel that? Yeah. It's not here. It's here. So grab your head. Straighten the legs. Get the hook in. Now, pull yourself out from underneath yourself. Yes! <laughs> That was really good. That was Yay. legitimately good. Okay. You're so surprised. <laughs> yeah. I'll <laughs> Alright, so first off, there are two kinds of beginners. There is butter. It's like floppy, soft butter. And there's nothing wrong with that. You're going to end up using that so well later. Being able to just be relaxed is a really hard thing to come by eventually. For now, when you're first starting out and you gotta flop, it makes you feel like you're not doing it right. You are. I promise you actually are. Every white belt sucks. All of you. Every one of them. You're not gonna just get white belts. Yeah. Okay, you're not you gonna suck that. forever. You're gonna get really good. You're just gonna have to start out by learning how to feel things properly. And that's super important. You don't just keep doing moves and getting stronger and faster at the gym. I got the move today. Eventually, I want you to be butter, floppy butter. And then there's the second one, there's plank. I hope you're watching. Hey, it's like fighting a block of wood. It's like, how do we do the move, coach? <laughs> oh, fuck, I suck at this. You don't. Eventually, you're going to learn how to be rigid when you need to be rigid. You're going to learn how to be butter when you need to be butter. Okay? It's about finding a balance between being a fucking plank and a piece of goddamn butter. 
You find the middle, and sooner or later, you can use both to your advantage, okay? For now, I'm gonna go over one last thing because I've got five minutes. Your partner puts on a headlock, and they lean the other way, okay? Super important that you understand this. I want you to lay down hands towards hand, please. Come over here, please. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Excuse me. Drag me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, pause here. Hold me time. Where's my weight? In the middle. Okay. Where's my weight? Um, so I'm going. Okay, not helping. My weight is coming forward. Yeah, forward. Where's my weight? Right. My Where's my weight? My okay. Every single thing I did just there was an easy answer. Okay? You don't just do moves, you feel them. Okay? So now from here, ah, I beat you. I got you in a headlock. Where's my weight? I'm not doing anything. Yeah. Where's my weight? Uh, it's more on my left. Yeah. Where's my weight? Oh, my weight. Okay. Forward. Okay, time. Swap. What's important that you understand is that you don't just get to do a move. I want you to feel the move. Okay? Just give up on my belt. Okay. Get you move. Awesome. Yeah. No, 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 no. Okay, headlock. Okay, so from here, put all your weight over here. Ah, I'm taking her over here. Put all your weight over here. Ah, I'm taking her over here. Come back and don't be butter, please. I want you to stay solid, like you hate me. And you want to put all your weight into that shoulder. Yes, and drive your weight over here in the shoulder so you can step that leg up. Yes, be solid. Good. So now from here, I can't go this way. What I can do is I can start to go this way. Okay. Now, I'm going to reteach that this evening. <laughs> I didn't say anything else. I said I'm going to reteach that this evening. Okay. When there's weight on one side, you go to that one side. When there's weight on another side, you go to that side. You never struggle to make a move correct. Okay? What I want from you is I want a good bad guy. So again, like I said, for the purpose of this demonstration, when your partner's in the closed guard, what I want is all the weight in the right shoulder stepping up off of the left leg. Holy crap, if I touch my hand, I'd be doing a full roll. Okay? No matter what, go for the path of least resistance. All right? And we can add on to that later. Are you good? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, any questions about what we did? Because we did, um, Covering the distance, clinch, slipping the guillotine, taking the back. From the back, we did the hoist and slam, or just the pick them up, put them down. Then we did sit down, okay? On the ground, we did what's known as an elevator sweep, right? Then we did an elevator sweep headlock variation. Good, good. When you're home, have it. Uh, super low blood sugar. I'm gonna be back this evening and we'll be running an advanced class. And the advanced class is gonna involve dealing with grips with the gi standing and uh, submissions from the guard, okay? She's gonna take a nap. Okay, she's gonna take a nap. Goodbye.